today we've got the Ole Miss Rebels in the Egg Bowl. They're on a six game losing streak. And today we're gonna try to make it seven in a row and five wins in a row for the Bulldogs. And Eli Manning's final collegiate game as McClendon with a nasty spin move picks up seven yards. It'll be second and three now. Manning under center, play action. And he's gonna throw left side wide open as the fullback Hart who trucks through a defender and runs over another one down to the 46 yard line. First down, Rebels. Manning under center once again in the I formation. Play action once again. Left side to Collins down on the 40 yard line. Another first down and a 15 yard face mask on freshman defensive back Donnie Kramer. Tack that on to the end of the catch. Third and eight now. Manning under center dropping back. Throws left side to McClendon at the 25 in the open field. He fumbles it. Galar forced the fumble. Fields picks it up with open space in front of him. Carries it all the way down to the 32 yard line. And halfback turns the ball over inside the red zone. Very unfortunate play for the Rebels. Todd Joseph and the Bulldogs take over on offense. And they're going to go triple option immediately here. Joseph's late pitch. Bryson Davis scoops it up. Somehow gets back to the line of scrimmage. Another dangerous play by our freshman quarterback. Third and 12. Joseph under center. He's going to pump fake and throw over the middle. And that is intercepted by Woodson off the deflection. He wanted to hit Pena. That is Woodson's fourth pick on the season. Rebels take over. Manning, play action, throws it right side. Hartfield gets it, and he's going to take it all the way down to the 21-yard line. Manning with five completions in a row. Heck of a game so far for the redshirt senior quarterback as he hits Freifogel down inside the 20 at the 12-yard line. They are in the red zone now. Third and inches. Let's we'll see if they can hold on to the ball. This time, Manning goes left side to McClendon, and he is stopped at the 11-yard line. And he does pick up the first down. First and 10. Play action. Manning throws right side to Hartfield down to the two-yard line. Rebels looking to score. Get on the board first here. Third and one. Hart up the middle untouched. Rebels on top early. Seven to nothing. First and 10 for the Bulldogs. Option right side. And Joseph goes down. Seven or eight-yard pickup. Second and two. I formation. Donnell Jones up the middle. Jukes a man out. Down to the Rebels. 49 yard line. Nice run for the fullback. Third and ten. Joseph looking to throw. He pump fakes. Throws it deep. And that is caught by Ray Ray Bivens at the 22 yard line. First down. Bulldog. Second and nine. Joseph's going to look to throw again here. Pump fakes. Throws it right side. Intercepted once again. This time it is Johnson in the corner. And he's breaking out loose in the open field. Norwood giving chase. Finally gets him down at the 39 yard line. That is Todd Joseph's second pick of the game. And it's still early. Manning optioning out left side. And he picks up about 12 yards and gets a first down. Second and six. They set up the screen left side to McClendon. And he cuts open in the middle. Nice blocking downfield by the linemen. Manning is 9 of 11 for 99 yards. And he's going to pitch it to McClendon here. Finch giving chase. Brings him down a yard shy of the first down. Into the second quarter now. Manning under center. Pitches to McClendon once again. And he puts it on the turf again. Donnie Kramer scoops it up. And the Bulldogs take over. Four turnovers in this game so far. Joseph, play action. He pump fakes. He's going to scramble right side throws to the middle. And Justin Jenkins makes a nice grab at the 44-yard line. First down, MSU. Take a look at the bottom. The Miami Hurricanes were upset, and so was Marshall. So the number one and number two teams in the nation go down on the same day. Second and four for the Bulldogs. Joseph under center. Bryson Davis gets the carry off tackle. Open field in front of him. Defensive back giving chase. Finally gets him down at the two-yard line. 49-yard run for Bryson Davis. My goodness. First and goal. Joseph hands it to Darnell Jones, and he just walks right into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. McClendon gets a carry. Breaks the tackle of Gabe Wallace, and he picks up 11 yards and a first down for the Rebels. First and 10. They give it off to the fullback Hart, and he trucks through a man. Picks up eight more yards on the ground. Got 17 yards on four carries. Second and two. McClendon with another carry. Jumps over a guy backwards. Still picks up the first down. Second and eight now. Manning looking to throw. Steps up into the pocket. Hits Flowers down to the 36 yard line. First down. Ole Miss. Manning with a good day so far. 118 passing yards. And he's going to throw once again here. Deep left side. It's caught by Collins. And he's sprinting in the open field past Slovakia Griffith for a touchdown. 
Rebels take the lead once again, second and seven. Joseph pump fakes, and he finally gets sacked, loses six yards. Booth with his first tackle of the game. Third and 12, Joseph pump fakes once again, throws it deep over the left side, and he overshoots his man. I believe that was Fred Reed that he wanted. Rebels take over, second and 10. McClendon running in the open field past the 40, down to the 35-yard line. Another first down carry for McClendon. Averaging 5.6 yards per carry. Second and 20 after a holding. Manning throws left side. Almost intercepted. Vicious hit over there. That was Donnie Kramer with a hit. Third and 20. Corey Brown looking to get a head start there. And McClendon gets the catch. Loses a yard. Just a safe play. They punt the ball away. Second and 12. Joseph play action. Pump fakes. Throws right side to Terrell Grindle down to the 47 yard line. First down, Bulldogs, second and 10. Now under a minute to go in the first half. Joseph's going to option out left side, and he's going to keep it himself. Pitches it late, and Nord has to dive backwards for it, and they will not get the first down. Third and one now. Darnell Jones gets the carry. Six-yard pickup and a first down for the fullback. Third and 10, 20 seconds to go. Joseph looking to throw, scrambles up the middle, jukes and breaks through a tackle. Nice move down to the 27-yard line. First down. Timeout for the Bulldogs. Current drive, eight plays, 47 yards. Joseph looking to throw, goes right side, and is caught by Justin Jenkins, and he fumbles it at the one-yard line. And the Ole Miss Rebels scoop it up, go out of bounds at the two-yard line. Unfortunate for the Bulldogs as they were looking to score before the half, and McClendon with the last carry of the half. Picks up a nice gain, runs the clock out. He's almost got 1,000 yards on the season. The Rebels are on top, 13-7 to right now. Rebels on for the kickoff. Deep down to the two-yard line is Jarius Norwood. He's had a really good season with returns so far, and he's going to juke out left side. One man to beat. Tries to juke past him, taken down at the 46-yard line. Nice return for Norwood. Huge upset with Virginia Tech beating Miami 19-17. Ball State beats number two Marshall 33-24. Crazy day in college. Jarius Nord gets a carry. Right side, nice open field run here. And he stiff arms him, and stiff arms him again. Gets inside the 10 yard line. First and goal for the Bulldogs. Norwood has 41 yards rushing on two carries. First and goal. Nord gets a carry again. And that's three plays in a row. Nord gets the ball. Nice kick return. A huge run. And then a nice powerful run. Breaking through a tackle of a linebacker. Getting in the end zone. And getting the Bulldogs the lead, 14 to 13 now. Manning goes down. He is sacked. That was Neil Nelson continuing his great freshman season. Second and 15 now. Manning throws deep right side, wide open as Flowers. Tate looked like he just lost the ball when it was in the air. Taking a look at Eli Manning's season, 21 touchdowns, 10 picks, not bad. And McClendon with a nice powerful run. Corey Brown chases him down after a seven-yard pickup. And another top five team goes down. Georgia beats Georgia Tech. And Nebraska loses to Colorado. So four out of the top six teams have lost today. Nice run up the middle for Hart. He picks up the first down. 31 yards on six carries for the fullback. Manning looking to throw. First and ten. He's got Fry Fogle wide open. He outruns everybody for a touchdown. Rebels are on top again here. Nice route by the receiver. Nice blocking, Eli Manning stepping up in the pocket. And he does the rest after the catch, just outruns the whole defense. Galar can't get there. And they're going to go for two here. They're 100% on the season. Manning looking to throw it. Goes right side and finds Rice finally. Eli was hit. Nice 86-yard drive. And the Bulldogs take back over. Darnell Jones gets a 9-yard carry up the middle on a triple option. Second and one. They'll give it off to him again. Picks up two more yards and a first down. 36 yards on six attempts for Darnell Jones. Second and ten. Joseph's going to option. Keep it up in the middle. And he picks up six or seven for himself. 32 yards on ten carries today. Third and three. Bryson Davis. Another run out in the open field. Past the 40 all the way down to the 29-yard line. He's got 80 yards on two carries. They just keep losing him on the field when he's out there. First and 10, Joseph looking to throw, pump fakes, scrambles left side, nice block by Fred Reed to seal the edge, 
and Joseph is going to outrun the linebacker and dive for the pylon. Touchdown Bulldogs back on top of the Ole Miss Rebels. Ralph Press looking for his first Egg Bowl victory. Last season we got destroyed by Ole Miss 42-17 in their stadium. It was not pretty. Especially since they didn't have Eli Manning at quarterback. And he's going to throw a deep right side here. What a one-handed catch by Flowers. And he gets a foot in bounds. Four completions in a row for Eli Manning once again here. And throws it deep this time. Jimmy Lindsay with the interception at midfield. Tested him one too many times. That is the sixth turnover in this game. Darnell Jones gets a carry. And he tries to juke a man out. He's tripped up. He's up to 42 yards on seven attempts now. Third and three, Bryson Davis gets the carry once again. Can't break it outside. Stuff for a loss of two. Northcutt with a nice tackle for a loss. And the Bulldogs left to punt it. Jared Cook back to punt. Look at the wind, 26 mile an hour winds. And Cook boots it up in the air and the wind is taking it back towards the 10 yard line. Bounces off of Donnie Kramer's back and it is down inside the 10 yard line by Jimmy Lindsey. First and 10, Manning looking to throw. He goes right side once again to Freifogel this time. Down to the 32-yard line. First down, 269 yards passing for Eli Manning. Two touchdowns and one pick. Second and 10. Manning under center here. A minute to go in the third. McLennan gets the pitch, breaks a tackle, and he gets taken out of bounds after a five or six-yard pickup by Neil Nelson. Third and five. Manning all day to throw goes left side, and it is dropped by Flowers, I believe. They punt the ball away. Third and six for the Bulldogs. Now in the fourth quarter, Joseph throws right side to Norwood who makes a nice one-handed grab down to the 44-yard line for a first down. Joseph under center. Option left side. And he's going to keep it himself. What a spin move there. Picks up five extra yards after the spin. He's got 76 yards on 13 carries and a touchdown. Second and 11, six minutes to go in the game. Joseph throwing it out right side to John Pena, and he gets it down to the 16-yard line. Bulldogs inside the red zone once again. Joseph still looking for his first passing touchdown of the game. He's only got eight on the season. He's struggled in the passing game. Bryson Davis, what a juke move. Cuts it out right side, dives for the pylon. Touchdown, Mississippi State Bulldogs. This crowd is getting really excited right now. They know we're on the verge of getting our first victory against Ole Miss in this dynasty. Manning in the shotgun now. Optioning out left side. That's McClendon. And he somehow pitches it to him. Past the 40, the 50, 40, 35, 30, all the way down to the 25-yard line. What a play. Can't believe Eli Manning pitched here. Let's take a look. He gets absolutely destroyed and somehow gets the pitch out to McClendon. And he picks up another 40 yards after he gets the pitch. First and 10, McLennan gets a handoff. And he breaks it out left side past the 15-yard line. First down, McLennan 139 yards today. Second and 13, Hart, fullback gets carried. He puts it on the turf. And Tommy Kelly dives on it. The Bulldogs will take over on offense once again. Third and eight. Joseph looking to throw. He gets crushed and it's intercepted by Bird. Taken down at the seven yard line. They wanted to set up the screen. It didn't work. Instead, Todd Joseph throws his third pick of the game. No touchdown, six of 16. McClendon gets a handoff and Corey Brown hits him before he could get in the end zone. Second and goal now, motioning left side. Manning throws it there and Freifogel was wide open. Nobody covered him after the motion. And the extra point is shanked to the right side. Three play, seven yard touchdown drive. Took less than half a minute. Ends with a missed extra point. Joseph, play action. Ray Ray Bivens wide open, catches it at the 30 and he is gone. Touchdown Bulldogs. Todd Joseph showing out his gun right there. Let's take a look at the replay. Play action. Joseph scrambles out to his left a little bit. Ray Ray Bivens just had nobody within 10, 15 yards from him. And you're not going to catch him in the open field. He showboated for good measure. Let's take another look here. The corner and the safety both just stopped. And Ray Ray Bivens blew right by them. Safety was reading run. And he was mistaken. But we'll take that easy touchdown. 
First and 10 now for Manning. He's going to hand it off to McClendon right side, and he gets down to the 30-yard line. Over 150 yards now. First and 10. Manning throws over the middle of the heart. The fullback makes a grab at midfield. Another first down. Manning is torching the secondary right now. Play action. He's going to throw deep again. This time, Galar picks him off at the 20-yard line. That is his first interception on the season to go along with 39 tackles. First and 10 for the Bulldogs. Darnell Jones up the middle. Jukes breaks the tackle, picks up another first down. He's having a heck of a game running the ball for us. First and 10. They're going to option left side. And Joseph's going to pitch last second. Bryson Davis breaks the tackle. Jukes past the man down to the 47-yard line of Ole Miss. He's got 589 yards on 62 carries with five touchdowns. Insane numbers right now. And most of that has come after the switch to the options. Fred Reed breaks it loose out right side past the 20, 15, 10. Tries to spin a guy out, taken down at the seven yard line. I believe that was his first carry of the game. We've got nine turnovers in the game as well here. Joseph option out left side. He's gonna take it in the end zone himself, untouched. With just over a minute to go, the Rebels are in trouble. Manning looking to throw. He gets sacked. That is Tommy Kelly breaking loose from the offensive line, dragging the right guard back, and shoving him aside, taking down Eli Manning. Third and 14, a minute to go. Manning, pump fakes. He's going to throw it deep. And that is intercepted once again for Galar. No picks coming into the game, and he's going to walk out of here with two of them against Eli Manning. That'll end the ball game, 42 to 27. The Bulldogs beat up on the Ole Miss Rebels. Our first ever Golden Egg Trophy it was a completely different game than last season, losing by 25 points. Eli Manning finishes his college career off with a loss to the Mississippi State Bulldogs in Starkville. Taking a look here at the stats. Over 1,000 yards of offense today. My goodness gracious. Only three sacks in the game, and we had more than them, which is very unusual. Ten turnovers total. Insane numbers. Imagine if there wasn't those turnovers, what the score would be. Todd Joseph, 7 of 17, 206 yards. Bryson Davis, 120 yards on six carries. 20-yard average. That is ridiculous. Stay tuned after the stats to find out who we play in our bowl game and who the award winners are for the season. We'll see who the Heisman winner was and the All-Americans. Donnie Kramer led the team with seven tackles today. Three tackles for a loss, two sacks, Neil Nelson and Tommy Kelly, three picks, Michael Gallar, Jimmy Lindsey. Three deflections, Gabe Wallace and Slovakia Griffith each had one. Three forced fumbles. Two by Galar, plus the two picks. He was just playing out of his mind. Mike Randall did not attempt a field goal today. Jared Cook had a good day punting. Look at the box score here. We scored 35 points in the second half. Five touchdowns. And our Heisman Memorial Trophy winner is Frank Gore, junior halfback out of the U. Almost ran for 2,000 yards, had 23 touchdowns. And there you go, folks. We go up against our conference opponent, the South Carolina Gamecocks, who are 7-5 in the Music City Bowl on December 30th. Kind of unusual for us to go up against our, our conference foe, but not completely unheard of. We'll see if Ralph Crest can get his first bowl victory as the head coach of the Bulldogs. And the most sacks in his season record was broken by freshman Anthony Bartlett. You'll see his numbers here soon. Look at the Heisman voting. Cody Pickett, Brock Berlin, Reggie Williams, and Lydell Ross. Frank Gore wins the offensive MVP as well. Cedric Houston gets in there in the top five for the Tennessee Volunteers. Best quarterback, Cody Pickett, Brock Berlin, C.J. Leak, Vince Young, sophomore quarterback from Texas, and A.J. Suggs from Georgia Tech. Frank Gore, best running back. Lydell Ross, Cedric Houston. James Wally and Rich Alexis from Washington. Best wide receiver, Reggie Williams. 15 touchdowns, 1,600 yards this season. Kevin Beard, Brandon Marshall. Had a heck of a year. Lenny McCormick and Darius Watts from Marshall. 
Offensive line, we don't have anybody on there and we won't anytime soon. Defensive MVP, Justin Riley. 107 tackles, 8 sacks, 3 fumbles recovered. Chase Blackburn, Teddy Lehman, Caleb Miller. And here you go, freshman, defensive end. Anthony Bartlett, 24 sacks, 3 forced fumbles, 1 recovered, 78 tackles. Just an outstanding freshman season. I don't think we'll ever see numbers like that again. Best defensive lineman. Somehow Bartlett did not win it. Probably because he is a freshman. Chase Blackburn wins best linebacker. Justin Riley, Teddy Lehman, Caleb Miller. And freshman Mike Anthony for Tulsa. 119 tackles, 5 sacks. Rashad Baker wins best defensive back. Sean Taylor gets second. Derek Strait, third. Michael Jolivet, fourth for Arizona. And Eric Johnson from Oklahoma, true freshman, gets fifth. Best kicker, Peter Christofolks. His whole name did not fit on the back of his jersey. Brennan O'Donohoe, Billy Bennett, Todd James, and Mike Langford from Ball State. Coach of the year is won by the Washington coach. They did have a heck of a season. UNLV gets on there in fifth place. 17 and 7 in his two years. Taking a look at the All Americans. Cody Pickett, Lydell Ross, Frank Gore, and all the works. Kellen Winslow Jr., Anthony Bartlett, true freshman, gets on there. Teddy Lehman, Chase Blackburn, Sean Taylor. A lot of memorable names are on these lists. There's Troy Fleming, fullback from Tennessee, along with Cedric Houston. Jason Witten. That's going to do it, guys. I'm going to let you guys look at the rest of this. And I will see you next week with our bowl game against the South Carolina Gamecocks. Take it easy, guys.